Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build the Type 42 destroyer which is a uh, a British destroyer. It's uh, used by the Royal Navy and it's also used by the Argentine Navy as well. So the Argentinians uh, did have a few of these. They've actually still got one in service I believe. Um, so it's kind of quite a famous, famous kind of, uh, well, ship class, especially if you've ever heard of the Falkland kind of Falkland Wars, if you've ever heard of that at all. Um, I can't remember what it's actually called in, uh, in, you know, Argentina, but they've also got their own name for it, of course. Um, also known as the Sheffield class as well. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a guided missile, uh, destroyer. It was used for, I think it was about 38 years, so it's pretty long, you know, it was used for quite a while. Uh, compared to the first, like Type 45, the, the kind of newer one that we got, it's actually quite a bit smaller. Uh, this is one of my earlier ship designs as well, so it's not as nice as the newer ones, but it's still kind of pretty cool. And that's only really underneath the water, the rest of it's pretty nice, and there's kind of ways that you can smooth it out and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to fly over the tutorial area. I'll just actually quickly, before I forget go through the actual dimensions of the ship which is pretty important so it is 141 long 34 high and if we just fly over here it looks like 17 blocks wide and yeah it's so 17 blocks wide in total um yeah it's pretty cool um so let's just fly over here uh you guys that are on the console versions actually i think this one was built before we had the quartz blocks in Normal, so this is quite an old ship before I've got to the tutorial. I know we have got quartz over there, so this part here I'll probably end up changing a little bit maybe to make it a little bit smoother. We'll see. I uh, kind of want to get there, but I'm just going to fly over the tutorial area now while I talk to you guys about what you can kind of expect from this tutorial um, if this is the first one that you've done. If not, it'll just going to be a recap of, um, of kind of what you can expect. So this is going to be a layer by layer tutorial. So what this means is that I'm just going to be telling you how to do it and it will build on top of the last layer. This is a lot easier for me and it's a lot easier I found for you guys because it allows you guys to have a break. For example, if you stopped at layer number four and you're like, I need to go and do something or I'm bored or whatever you need to have a break. At the beginning of every layer, I will announce it. So they'll be like, and now for layer number five. And then you know exactly where you are. So it kind of... It enables you to do this in stages, and with a ship this size, I do actually recommend doing it in stages. It'll kind of makes it a lot easier. Uh, definitely, when I'm recording this, I will be doing it in kind of bits. I won't be doing it in a solid recording. Otherwise, there'll be huge amounts of mistakes in it, or I'll just go completely and utterly insane, or more insane. I don't really know, but uh, yeah. If you do use this uh, ship on a map or a server or anything like that make sure that you credit me for the design i spend absolutely hours uh kind of making these ships and then making these tutorials the tutorials actually the tutorials actually take probably about four to five times the amount of length that you guys get so for example if this video was an hour long i have no idea how long it's going to be if it's an hour long it's probably taken me four to eight hours work to actually get that hour to you guys um because obviously I have to learn what the hell I'm going to be teaching, teach it. Then after that I have to do the whole editing of all that raw footage uh, to make it kind of nice and shiny for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you use it, make sure that you credit me. Um, kind of This one isn't too much of a challenge, it shouldn't be too difficult, but these are still advanced tutorials. So this probably isn't, this might be actually an alright starting ship, but I'm not too sure. It depends on you guys that have been with me. For a while, you'll find this one super, super easy uh, compared to stuff like the USS Arizona, the big battleship, or something like the USS Independence. Both of those are really difficult. This one is going to be a walk in the park, really is. So let's get started. Okay, for you guys that are building this one underneath the water, I'll just show you guys how many blocks you actually need to go down. So what I generally recommend is having red, black, and then you go onto your kind of gray, your light gray. Uh, or whatever kind of material you've been using. So you've got one, two, three, and four blocks underneath the water. So this is where you're going to be. This is going to be above the water. Uh, and that's kind of where you want to, if you want to put it there, that's where you can put it. Um, I do get asked quite a lot, why don't I actually build it under the water? I'd like to see you build it under the water. The reason being is you just can't see what the hell I'm placing down. Uh, I mean, seriously, it's, it's a complete nightmare building underneath the water. It'll just be completely unclear for you guys exactly what I mean. 
especially when I'm kind of jumping out and, you know, when it starts to get complex or something like that and I have to kind of take breaks on bits, maybe I have to double check something. When I come back to it, it'll just kind of really confuse you guys unless it's a complete stream going back, um, which is just not how I kind of do the recordings. Uh, so it's mainly just to make it really clear. Uh, but I do realize a lot of you guys that are on the console versions especially, you know, it is a bit more difficult for you guys building onto the water or, you know, cutting out an entire square, which you could also, of course, use this here. Um, I also do get asked for estimated block counts. I have no idea. Uh, if anybody knows how to grab them easily without me sitting through here and counting them, because I am dedicated to you guys, but I'm not going to sit down and count every block and go, oh, yeah, there's exactly 4,000 blah, 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 blah can't be done i'm not i'm just not going to do that especially with the bigger builds um so if there's an easy way tell me and i can actually start putting that in the description to my videos um but apart from that that's pretty much it so let's start on layer number one okay so i'm just going to grab a nice free plot of land over here my super flat world um and the first thing i'm going to do if you haven't done my tutorials before this will be kind of layer one's always a bit different and then the rest of them kind of follow this kind of similar pattern so the first thing I'm going to do is just lay down five blocks one two three four five so I'm still building mine out of red wool you could also use your red stained clay as well so it's kind of up to you I, I, I'm not too sure yet um, probably when I start a new world I'm actually going to just convert all of mine via world edit or MC edit into the clay but for the time being I'm still using my red wool so you've just got five blocks going down here anyway now I'm going to go three blocks wide and this is going to go seven so you got one two three four five six seven and I'm just going to fill this in usually I just box around it but for some reason I've decided to fill it in now what we're going to do is going to go five wide so you got one two three four and five this one is going to go back by eleven so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this time I am just going to box this one and what we can do is later on you guys can actually just fill this in because uh, you know all you have to do is literally just put in a few block blocks so there's not really any point me going through that um, in the tutorial part. Now what we're going to do is going to go seven wide. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. This one goes back 81 blocks. This is the longest kind of run going pretty much straight back. Um, I'm not going to be doing it exactly with you guys but um, Counting that block that we've already got down. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five. Go back 81 blocks. Do it on the other side and kind of box it off like we did with this layer. And I will catch you guys after that. Okay, and then once you've got your 81 blocks going back, what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to go four. So you just go. This time we don't have to kind of do the thing that we did when we're going outwards, but we can just go one, two, three, four. On the other side, one, two, three, four. And box this off. And then we got a three. So you got one, two, and three. And then one, two, three, box that off. Then on the back kind of end part, right in the middle, you're going to just add three blocks. So you got one, two, three. And that's it for layer number one. All you need to do is pretty self-explanatory. Unless you do want a kind of no bottom on the on the kind of bottom of it. All you have to do is just basically fill this all in. Um, and after we've done that, we'll get on to the next one. Okay, so now we're on to layer number two. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to the front. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come forwards off this part here, uh, just kind of diagonally and forwards. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And now we're just going to outline. So we're just going to go out, kind of diagonally off this by one block and just follow the kind of line that we've got here. It's pretty, pretty easy. Uh, again, this is one of my earlier ships, so it is really, really simple, especially these lower layers, uh, which is kind of nice, um, but it doesn't look kind of as accurate and as kind of smooth as I guess the kind of newer ones do at all but you're just going to keep on pulling this one back even on this longest layer and then when you've got it in line with this longest layer that we've gone down here you're just going to plus one block to the end and now what you're going to do is you're going to have four so you've got one two three and four and now what you're going to do is if you grab your block of iron this is going to be for the propellers here so you could use light grey wool stone anything like that if you wanted to we just come into this part here I'm going to go one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve in total. Grab your block of gold, add two, and then you're just going to go diagonals on this. And I don't know why I deleted that one, but there you go. So you can get this kind of diagonal part like this. And if we come back to the inside part here, you'll notice that we've got to put in an extra block here. And also, I just put in an extra block of iron right here. Now I'm going to leave three of these. So you got one, two, three, go to the fourth, which is just this open gap here. 
I'm going to go five. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. And then we're going to have one. So I yeah, want you got the other side as well. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. What I need to do is just fill in these two blocks here. Now, if we go right to this back part here, where we've got this kind of free going across, we're just going to add a block on the side of this part. And also underneath here, it's kind of like a support type thing. And then also what we're going to do is going to leave a block gap from this propeller here. Have two blocks like this, and then just one right in the bottom. This is going to be this uh, the kind of rudder type system here. So I'm just going to start it there. So then do exactly the same on the other side. Um, so you'll literally just copy what you've done on the uh, I've done on the other side. If you get stuck, just watch this layer back, um, and just just kind of pay attention to the numbers that are going on, and then we'll get on to layer number three. Okay, and now we're on to layer number three. So come to the front again, and we're just going to come forward by one block this time. And again, we're just going to go out uh, an extra block. Again, this is a earlier ship, so it's so much simpler. So if we just outline here, and there will be a slight difference again on the longest run, as there kind of always is. But for the time being, just bring this one kind of right in line with the last layer. And again, it will take a little bit of time. So keep on dragging this one. There we go. So if you just bring it right in line with the last layer, and we're just going to minus one this time. So it's again in line with the kind of bottom layer that we've got right there. Now we're going to have six. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now three, one, two, and three. Now three, one, two, three. And we're going to have a two, and then a two. So again, once we've got it on the other side as well, there'll just be an extra block to place in here. Uh, and there's an extra block to place in here to join up, but I think that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is we need to just add a block on top of this one to build it up a little bit more. And also these two here, we're just going to add an extra block like that. Um, so do the same on the other side. We'll get onto the next layer. Okay, and now we're on to layer number four. So yeah, again, come to the front and come forwards just by one block here. Now what I'm going to do is going to have four, so you got one, two, three, and four, a five, one, two, three, four, and five. Now what we're going to do is you're going to have a eight, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is directly on top of the last layer. This longest one is directly on top as well. So we can just pull this one basically just exactly the same as we've been doing before. Uh, which is the easiest kind of part of the build, definitely the middle section. So just keep on bringing this. If I can place the blocks right, there we go. And bring this one on top. Until you're directly on top of that last bit here. Now what you're going to do is going to add seven blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just one past, past that kind of last bit. Now we're going to have a three. So you've got one, two, three, another three, one, two, three. And then three sets of two. So you've got two two and two like that so then again on the other side what you do is you have this and you'll just fill in this gap here fill in this gap and these ones here um, I don't think there's any at the front but if there is make sure that you fill those in so then yeah so you'll have these twos and then all those threes and stuff like that and you'll just literally just be filling in those uh, and then if we come to these back parts we're just gonna add an extra two blocks I'm gonna add two the side, one on the front, two on the side, one on the back. So you're literally basically just going around adding a block to the faces so that you can see off this thing, except for of course the top, just to build those kind of feet part there. Do the same on the other side and we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, and now we're on to layer number five. So come to the front once again and we're gonna have one. Now you're gonna have three blocks, so you got one, two, and three. Now we're four, one, two, three, and four. Another four, one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to have a 7, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to outline yet again. So just this layer here. And also the next one as well, this longest one. We're literally just going to outline this as well. And this time this one's going to be directly kind of uh, in line and outlined the last layer, so we're not going to have to change it. So if you keep on dragging this one back, and it does, it's starting to take a while now. Uh, so you can actually tell how big, kind of big the actual ship is. There we go, we're directly in line with this one right here. Now what we're going to do is going to go out, and we've got 13. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And don't worry about this entire space, we'll do something with it in a second. Now we're going to go in and do 2, so you've got 1, 2. 
Now one, and then there should be five across the back. So you get one, two, three, four, and five. And of course, on the other side, you have a one, a two, and then we have a thirteen. So you get one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What you're going to do is you're going to come to the inside of this part, and just like we did before on a couple of the other layers, we're just going to come over the top. You could leave these parts in uh, and, and literally just kind of go around them. Uh, that would give you exactly how much space that you've actually got when you do get around to doing an interior. Um, or you could do what I do, which is I literally just fill it in because I'm not that bothered about it. So uh, do the same on the other side, fill this part in. And then what you can do is you can literally throw away this piece of red wool. We're done with it, we're on to the black one. So let's do this. Okay, so now we're on to layer number six, which is either going to be a black wool or also your black stained clay as well, you could use that. So if you come to the front, just place one top, one on the top of this part um, because the black wool doesn't show up that clearly. I'm going to go through this layer a little bit slower for you guys. Um, I won't be switching out the blocks because I'll then have to switch them back again. Um, so it makes it a bit easier for me, but you've just got one directly on top here, and then we're going to have a two, so you got one, two, just directly on top, then you're going to have a three, uh, not a three, then you're going to have a four, so you got one, two, three, and four, now five, one, two, three, four, and five. So generally it's kind of like this one block is just kind of going on the front of these two uh, parts here. The next bit is just going to be directly on top of the last layer, same as this one here. And then the longest is also going to be directly on top. They will be a little bit different at the back again. So just place it directly on top of the last layer here. You can drag this all the way. Should be able to do it pretty fast. Well, I say that, but it's still quite a long layer. Uh, so there we go. So we've got that there. Keep on bringing this one back here. So it's directly on top of that last layer there. We're going to add two blocks. So we've got one, two extra. Then this next one is going to be on top again. Just like this, then plus two again, so you got one, two. Now we're going to have a one, and then there should be seven across the back, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like that. Then do the same on the other side, and you can throw away your black hole, because we don't need that one either. So there you go, you can see my red and my black. And we'll get onto the main kind of hole colour. Okay, so we're now on to layer number seven, which is your main kind of hole colour, uh, kind of main grey colour, if you make it out of obviously grey. So I've got a couple of the switch outs that you guys can use. Um, I actually use the block of iron when I'm using Sfax um, like this because with connected textures it looks pretty cool. Also if you do that you get these cool kind of girder marks on it. It looks really kind of like a whole colour. Uh, but obviously in default it's kind of a whitish colour so I, I don't advise using that. You've also got your light grey wool as well. So you've got this. I'm just going to build these up a little bit. You've also got stone. That's quite a good one. Clay. You can even use clay. And also cyan stained clay. I don't recommend using the kind of dark grey wool um, because I actually use it for the whole colour. But I'm just going to switch to default for these ones so you can see the kind of switch outs in the default texture pack. Okay, so here are the kind of switch outs that you've got in the default texture pack. So I'll go through them again. So you've got your block of iron. That's what I kind of recommend uh, in Sfax. But I don't recommend doing it if you're in default texture pack. So if you're on the console versions, Xbox or PlayStation version versions. Um, I actually advise using the light grey wool or also using stone is quite common as well. Um, but I don't know, it's a bit too common when you're just around, out and around in the game as well. So it's a bit too common for that. Clay looks quite interesting. It's quite a light grey. Um, and also you've got your cyan stained clay as well. That's quite a nice grey. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look through. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so kind of choose your colour that you're going to be going with. Again, I'm going to be going with the iron. And that's what you're going to be making your main kind of hull colour in. So you can see it in default with the kind of iron. It doesn't look terrible. It's just that it doesn't look quite as nice as if you did it in one of these grey ones. So choose that. We'll get on to layer number seven. Okay, and now for layer number seven, come to the front, come forwards. And we're going to just have one block coming forwards like this. Now we're going to have a three. So you've got one, two, and three. Now four, one, two, three, four. And then these are going to be directly on top of this black layer. Uh, again, this is kind of like a earlier ship design. So it's really simple. And really easy to kind of get all your blocks down a lot faster than, than definitely my newer ones, which are a bit of a nightmare, but look a lot cooler. So, and this one still looks cool. So if you just keep on dragging this back as well. So here, and then the next one. 
And actually, if we get to the back here, we just go on to the top of this one here before we get onto the one. I'm just going to add one block, and then across the back, this will be directly on top. Also, just going to add one block like this. So, kind of starting to square off this back part here. So, if I just pull this back here as well, there is these kind of two holes at the back here. Um, and I just put in a rough floor for it. So, if you get this kind of back square section, we're just going to grab a kind of grey wool, which is what I use for the whole colour. And if you just put this down on this part here and fill it all in like this and there, 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 and just fill this kind of back section in. Do the same on the other side, we'll get onto layer number eight. Okay, and now for layer number eight, come to the front and we're just gonna place a block directly on top of the last layer that we did right here. Now what we're gonna do is gonna have a two and a three, so you got one, two, and a three. Now you're going to have a 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, another 3, so you've got 1, 2, and 3. And now what we're going to do is you're just going to outline the kind of main body of the ship like this, and even on this longest layer here. There is a slight difference at the back, as there kind of usually is on the front and the back of these, even when they do have this kind of simple shape. Um, so if we keep bringing this one back, and again, it is starting to really take quite a long time now. <laughs> There we go, so if we could bring it back to here, and also on this one here, what we're going to do is going to bring this one all the way back. And then if we could just take a four, so you've got one, two, three, and four. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be wrapping around some kind of fences, uh, or iron bars in a second. First thing we need to do is we need to go in one from this side, and we're just going to have this one block coming on the side here. If we find the center line, which you can do quite easily by finding the middle of this part, we're just going to go out. I'm just going to have five, so you're just going to have this one block and add two to each side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then if we grab our iron bars, we're just going to wrap them around on this outside part here, and it just gets wrapped around to this part here. I also advise taking out this block and switching it out for a kind of block of iron. Same with the other side as well. So it's a little bit weird, um, the back bit, but kind of works out all right in the end. So yeah, you just bring up this up to here, take a four, one, two, three, and four. They're gonna leave a two block gap basically, and then this one will be coming out. And just with your iron bars, just wrap them around the kind of outside part until we've got this back bit. Um, like that really. Um, and that's pretty much it for that layer. Then just do the same on the other side. We'll get onto number nine. Okay, so we're now onto layer number nine. So come to the front and we're gonna go forwards by one block, just like this. Then we're gonna have a two. So you got one and two, now three, one, two, three, and then a four, one, two, three, and four. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna have another four, so you got one, two, three, four. And let's just have a look here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then this is just gonna be on top of the last layer. And that's all of it actually. Uh, it's all completely on top. I'll still kind of do it with you, uh, just in case you're wondering if there's any changes at all that I might miss or anything like that, but there actually isn't, it is directly on top. And this layer is really starting to become a pain now, just because it's really long. Uh, but we're nearly at the top of this, so it's, we're almost there. So next one is also on top. And then these, one block on top of this one, and then five blocks on that one, or on that one. And it's exactly the same, so do the same on the other side, we'll get onto the next layer. Okay, and now we're on to layer number 10. Come to the front, place a block directly on top of the last one here. Then we're going to have one. Then we're going to have three, so you got one, two, three, now four, one. Two, three, four, a five, one, two, three, four, and five. Now the rest are pretty much directly on top. Uh, most of them are just on this kind of part here, and of course this super duper long run, which is starting to get uh, kind of become a nightmare. <laughs> but if you just keep on bringing this one back, uh, back and back and back, and uh, continue grabbing this one back, there is just one bit at the end. Here we go. So if you keep on going back on this part. This bit gets an extra one. It's just this literally, this back part here. You're just going to move it out by one, and it's still going to be this five going to cross. So then just do the same on the other side, and we will move on to the next layer. Okay, so we're on to layer number 11, which is the last of this kind of main grey hole layer. There is this bit that goes up onto the front part here, but we'll worry about that in a second. So we'll just go forwards, and we'll have one, a two, and then we're just going to have these directly on top of the last. Uh, just as we did kind of before, so it's just on top. Let's grab all these and pull these ones back. And again, we've got this really, really long layer, so just keep on bringing the blocks back on this one as well. 
And of course there is going to be a slight difference with this one, uh, as it's got our last layer as well. So I'm dragging this one back, just to here, and then this one as well. Drag this back, and it goes all the way on top, just on top of this one for the time being. This will actually kind of grab out, and we'll just make it until these two are here. So you're going to add an extra three blocks from this kind of pillar here to go go to this part here. So you just got one, two, three, and this one is going to be dragged all the way back right to this point, like that. Next thing you're going to do is grab your main hot kind of uh, the floor color, the deck color. Uh, so mine's grey, so, and all you're going to do is just fill up this entire deck. Um, the reason being is that a lot of it is shown, it's just easier just to say, fill in the entire thing. Um, and then what we're going to start doing is we're going to, we're going to do this back part. Um, and then we'll probably do the front, <laughs> as I usually do, I usually do this back bit. Back section, get that done, as that's pretty much, it's kind of like a third of the ship. If we do this entire kind of hangar. We'll do the flight deck, the hangar, this uh, thing here, this kind of antenna. Then we'll do the front two guns, that's another third. And then we just got this last bit where you've got the actual bridge section there. So fill this entire deck in and we will get on to the next layer. Okay, so now we're on to the next kind of layers. We're just going to do the kind of finishing up bits like this front bit, uh, putting iron bars and stuff like that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the longest layer here. I'm going to leave 12 blocks. I'm just going to use... Uh, Slabs for this actually, I might as well show you guys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then grab your hole color and just on the outside here, there's this kind of band that goes across like this. And this goes back 54 blocks. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54 in total like that. So that's what you should have. I'm just going to go now to the front part here. and We'll just finish off that. So I'll just get rid of these blocks here. We're about to try to take out the deck. There we go. So now if we come right to the front part like here. What we're going to do is going to place a block directly on top of this one and come forwards. This will make it a two in total. So we've got this two. Now we're going to have a two, three, then a four, then a five. One, two, three, four, five. So most of them are on top. Then we're just going to have three. So you've got one, two, three. And you can also obviously do it on the other side as well. It is it is actually just on top of the last layer like this. Now if you grab your iron bars, what we're going to do is we're going to just go around. What I do on these kind of corner kind of pieces, I just put in an extra kind of block here. Uh, so here, change that one around there. And then grab this one going around here. Uh, this kind of outside part here, uh, I'll just have a quick look. So I actually left that part completely blank. Uh, just this kind of extra bit that comes out instead of actually doing anything with it. So I kind of advise doing the same. And uh, just keep on dragging this one basically all the way around the actual build. I'll just show you exactly how to do it on one side so that you don't get stuck on any parts or anything like that. But this long layer really does go back pretty far. So to here, then also, again, put in that extra block so that you can wrap it around. Go across this bit. Extra block as well. And then wrap this around as well. In here, wrap it around, and go around the entire build like that. Then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll do this kind of back little bit here. We'll probably just put in this wall for the time being, then do the deck patterns because they're really easy, and build this back section. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start laying out for this kind of back section here, um, and also get this kind of flight deck done. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find these two sections that we got at the back. And counting this one, we're going to go back by 11 in total. So we've got one. Actually, I might as well use slabs for this. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like this one, then what we're going to do is going to cut the next one. So the 12th block. So we've got these 11 kind of blocks here that I've shown you guys with slabs. We can get rid of these slabs now. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this across here. This is just going to be like a guide, basically, for the actual uh, kind of hanger itself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our white wool, find the actual middle kind of center line of it. Again, you can actually kind of use right down here. It's not really uh, 
the best kind of way to find it, but you can kind of use it that way. And what we're going to do is going to get your grab, you're going to grab your white wool, and we go nine. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go, just like that. Now what we're going to do is going to leave a block gap, and we're just going to place a block here and go diagonally backwards this way until we go right next to the actual deck there. So we've got this one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. And then what you're going to do is we're just going to add an extra eight onto this line. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to just basically off this line here, we're going to go right to the side. Like that, and now we're going to do a free one circle. So, well, remember this is I'll just show you. So you got free one, free one, like that. We're just going to kind of cut that into the actual deck here. So we've already got the free here. So we've got one, two, three. We have this one, then one, two, three, and a one, one, two, three, and a one, one, two, three, and then a one, and then you've got that free there. So hopefully you guys have got that. The only other thing we really need to do on this is if we just go to this back part here, go leave a two block gap, and we're just gonna have two blocks going on the side here. So we've just got these two right here like that, and that'll give you the back kind of detail. I don't know where it's kind of better to you for you guys to actually look at, maybe here possibly. Um, but that's it for the actual back kind of details. We'll now build up this hanger. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to build the hanger. So if you come to this line that we both kind of made before, we're just going to cut out a block on each of these sides here. And then what we're going to do is, counting this block here, we're going to go back by 17. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Go straight across the back as well. And also join this up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make this 5 high in total. So we've already got 1, 2, three, four, and five. So there is five blocks going up like that. Go around the entire kind of, uh, this entire kind of box, just filling in these walls, and I'll get back to you for the next bit. Okay, and then once you've got that, what we're gonna do is just in this side block that we kind of went up, we're gonna go up by four, so you got one, two, three, and four. So it should be one less than the last one. We're just gonna kind of join up these two here. It's the same on the other side, two, three, and four. Not those two, so we've got this kind of small entrance here which will go across the kind of side part. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just this block here, so we're going to go one, two, and then onto the third one. Grab this block and just basically drag it right to the back and then wrap it around here and then put in grey wool like this. So, this is the kind of side railing that's on there, and you can also put in your iron bars and go around it as well. And then if you grab a never brick fence, and we're just going to put it right on this end part here, uh, just to kind of look, make it look like it's going to be in sported. You can put loads of the one there going onto these iron bars if you wanted to. It's kind of up to you. Uh, it's the same on the other side as well, so we might as well do that as well. So I'm just going to kind of speed through this. Um, but it is exactly the same as the other side, so there's not really much I can kind of say about it, but just do exactly the same here, and also drag it around. Yeah, and then put in your never brick fence. Oh, and I need to put in that bit there. Next thing we're going to do is just this roof part. We're going to just fill it in completely solid. And after you've done that, what I'll do is I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, and then once you've filled that in, if you come to the kind of, well, the bit that's towards the front at least, uh, I was going to say the back section of it, but of course that would be over here. What we're going to do is going to come in one block on each side, just come across like this. And counting this block, we're going to go seven. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, seven. I need to recount this. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And get rid of that there. And then just box this across as well. Like this. And then build it up one extra height. Like this. Like that, and then again with your grey wool, just fill in this floor. Uh, it doesn't make that much height here, so you can actually cut out this part. I think this is what I did on my one anyway. Pretty sure I just cut through this floor because there's no point having a one block uh, kind of floor gap. So I just cut through this 
can leave those in if you want to, but fill this up here, like this, and all of it. There we go, those two there. Grab your iron bars now and just go around this part. And without trying to place a million iron bars everywhere like I am. There you go, like that. And then this main section that we're going to go down to now, even on these side parts, we're going to put iron bars. And then wrap it around this kind of section here. Like that here. Just like that. I'm just going to, yep, I'm still putting that brick fence. So that's it for the kind of basic structure. Uh, what we're going to do now is we'll just build this hanger door. So on this side, we're just going to literally get leave a one block here and then cut through. Uh, but this side, we're going to leave three of these. So you get one, two, and three like that. So it's a bit of a, a weird one, uh, but the door is slightly off kind of the center. And what it will do is it'll give you these two blocks on this inside part. There's this kind of side bit here. I guess if you want to, you could then make this a proper kind of workbench type area right on the side uh, without, again, punching holes and everything. And because you've got one, two, three, four blocks going down, what I did is I used, uh, I believe I used the stone slabs going across here. Then I had four of these. So you got one, two, three, and actually just three of those because you got four blocks in total. So if this was then flipped and it worked perfectly in Minecraft, it would be uh, kind of just covering up this gap. So I just literally put them on the roof. Uh, so I'm just going to take off these three here. Another thing you can do, uh, and if we actually grab some other types of blocks, for example. I haven't used the light grey wool, um, and I can actually still use these. So if you do want it closed, for example, you can have it like this, have another type of grey or something like that on there. Um, another thing to give it a bit more detail or style in a way is push it back by one block as well. So that when you've got this entire closed, you could do something like that. You know, you can use quite a lot of different things to make it look kind of cool. I generally might have mine kind of open, um, but it's kind of up to you, so I'm just going to use it with this style here, going across this back bit like like this. Um, and now what we're going to do is going to build this uh, small missile system and the sensor, then we'll get onto this antenna here. Okay, so we're just going to put in something just on this part that I almost forgot about, which is just striped yellow and black wool here. Uh, if you're using the same text track as uh, the Jag has got, you've already got that cool sponge. Uh, it's called, well, the texture that he's used is the sponge one, or block, uh, which has those cool stripes. That would be pretty much perfect for here. Now what we're going to do is going to go to this part here, and we're going to find the middle, which you've got this stripe here. Go back by one block, so we've got this one block here. Then what we're going to do is going to have a free, 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 and then free. You can just make this completely solid if you want to, like that. Then we're just going to build a cross pattern on this. So we've just got a cross on there, and then each of these kind of corners, we're just going to put down um, a stone slab. Then in the middle, just add one block here, and add a stone slab right on the top part like that. Then with your red wall, just add one right to the side here, and onto the back, and then add two to the front. And by the front, I mean the true back, uh, but the, the kind of direction it's pointing. So we've got it like this. And then on top, you're just going to have three blocks of iron. So you get got one, two, three, and it's just on this back bit here, like that, which builds that kind of missile system. Uh, what you can also do, if you wanted to, is put item frames on these bits here, like that. I don't really like it like that. Uh, but you can do that, or you can put on, like, buttons or trap doors or something. You know, it's quite a few things. I'm going to put buttons on mine, for example. Uh, another thing you can do is you can get weighted pressure plates and put these on here. Um, and just basically on all of them, which will change if you've got connected textures, it will change it here, as you can see. It's just kind of changing the actual way it works, but um, it's kind of up to you with the weighted pressure plates uh, if you want to put them on, as well as on this top part as well, like that. So now what we'll do is we'll build this back sensor. Okay, and then for this back sensor that we've got here, we're just going to have, if we go to the back bit, we're going to have free, 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 and then free like this. We can also, again, Make this solid if you want. You could, if you wanted to, make it completely hollow and then cut it out and have some sort of weird, small, tiny room here. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, or use that space as for, like, lighting or something like that. 
And then what you're gonna do is you can build this up to a total height of three. So you've already got one, so you're gonna go just add two blocks to each of these. Like this, we'll just add two blocks. And then again, you can just fill this in. I'm gonna fill it in so that bats don't spawn and start to lag out a little bit as with uh, shaders. It kind of does, even if they're hidden. Uh, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna go right in the middle of these bits and you're just gonna go diagonals. Just like this and fill it in again. And then just build a cross on the top like this. Um, I was thinking about smoothing it out kind of earlier on, but this doesn't look too bad at all, if I'm honest. So, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you know, grab your slabs, your quartz slabs and your quartz stairs. And, for example, switch these ones out and these ones out. And I might as well show you how to actually do this anyway. Like that, put one on the top. Um, I guess, yeah. On these ones, you could put something like this, but on the sides, so maybe even take that off. I don't know. It depends. Sometimes it looks better. Sometimes it doesn't. So I think I'm going to go with something like that, which is a little bit more smoother. But not kind of not really. But again, you can also obviously add in these ones, kind of curled around, and also put in these possibly. And if you do it this way. You can then put a slab on the top. I don't really like that at all. I think it looks like a cone instead of a bit more circular, which is why I kind of went in the beginning. And what I'm going to keep is just the full blocks. But there's a couple of options for you guys. Um, just that you kind of know that you can do a couple of different things with it. Uh, so let's go on to the next kind of uh, bit, which is going to be this tower type thing. Okay, so now we're going to build this kind of antenna here. So if we come to the back bit here, we're going to leave a one block gap. So you got one block. Uh, if we just find the middle, you can use this kind of point here to find the middle. And actually, I placed it correctly. That's good. Uh, so what you're going to do now is you're going to build a free by free, free uh, kind of block here. We're going to build it all out of the actual uh, kind of main block of iron. Then what I'll do is I'll go through where you need to switch out for black wall. And I'll actually be using quartz because it's a lot clearer. Especially when you start doing video editing, this kind of white comes out a lot clearer than, for example, the black wall, which even though it looks clear to me, um, to you guys, when it, editing comes in, you cannot see any sort of kind of difference at all, um, kind of between them. So anyway, we're gonna have this three by three box here. This is gonna go up by ten. So you've got already got one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then just build all of these walls up to the same height, right up to here. And just basically go around all of it, and I'll catch you guys after you've done this. Okay, and then once you've got this kind of section here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a cross. And I've just left this middle bit kind of empty, and I'm actually going to fill it in now. So you might want to do the same. So we've got this cross here. This goes up by a total, uh, to a total of five. So you've already got one, two, three, four, and five. And then do exactly the same like that and then directly in the center we're just gonna have four blocks so you got one two three and four then right on the top you've got a cobblestone wall if you don't have this you can use something like never brick fence for example uh, that would be fine and then also i'm going to use the quartz slab on this but you can also use stone slab so i actually use stone slab on this one but you're basically going to be placing it on the top and just adding a couple on each side so you got two going diagonal to make this kind of sensor uh, but like I said, I'm going to be using the quartz, so it's up to you. Uh, you guys on the console versions will be getting quartz soon. If not already, by the time that this video is kind of edited and kind of gone out. Uh, so we'll have that for the time being. Then grab your stone slabs and um, put them on the top of these parts right here. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go through which blocks need to be switched out for the black wall. And again, I won't be using black wall because it's unclear. I'll be using this quartz. Uh, so come to this back part, there's the back of the ship there, just in case you get lost. I'm just going to switch these out for the actual black pieces of wool. Again, I'm using quartz. So like this, switch out these. And go all the way down there, and then build this up. Just like that. Now this, actually all of the rest of it is quartz now, so this kind of... Uh, Three by three, uh, not three by three. This uh, cross that we actually made before, that's going to be solid quartz, uh, not solid quartz, solid black wool. There and also this four here. We got one, two, three, and four. 
that's also going to be your wall. So you've got this kind of towards the back bit. We've just got this last stripe on this bit, and then the rest of it's in black. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to do the kind of antennary type part. So just off the top here, we're going to go down. We're going to go one, two, and three with your iron bars, and also on this part here. So this creates this kind of sensor here. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, two, and three. Uh, just there like that. And now if you grab your never brick fence and go to this one, you're going to go four. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Just underneath that one there, same on the other side as well. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to leave a block gap. I'm going to have three. So you've got one, two, three. One, two, two, and three. And then if we go to this kind of right at the top section of this three by three, we're just going to add two never brick slabs. Never, never brick fence. That's what, it's, that's what it's called. We're going to put that in there, and that creates this kind of back sensor type thing. Uh, it will connect into the back part of this main section here. Uh, but we'll kind of get to that when we get to that, really. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is the main gun we've got in the front here. Oh, without falling down. Main gun that we've got here. We're going to be building this. And also another one of these missile thingamajiggies, which is built in exactly the same way as the back one. Uh, but it's kind of got this guard here, so we'll do that, and then we just got the bridge section to do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to move on to the front part where we've got this gunner, gun here, and we've also got the missile kind of system. Uh, so we're going to start with the gun as it's the kind of forward most uh, bits. So the first thing we're going to do is where we've got this kind of raised bit, we're going to go to this next kind of full layer here. We're going to count back seven, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and again... I'm just using these slabs to show you exactly what I mean. And then what we're going to do is going to leave a one block gap. And it's going to be on the same level as this. We're going to have a one, one, then five, one, two, three, four, and five, then a one, one. Like this to build this kind of front guard. Uh, so we can then get rid of that kind of stuff there. And then going to have a five block gap going backwards. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Again, I'm using the stone slabs as a kind of marker. We're going to then going to grab some stone stairs. And we're going to go one, two, three, and four. So it's just on the side part, but it does wrap all the way around. This just creates the base of the gun like that. We can then get rid of this. Also, we can put weighted pressure plates on top of these if we wanted to. It's really up to you, though. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to basically lay blocks on top. So you've got this three by four, four kind of uh, layered part like this. And then do it the exact same again. We will cut out for the gun uh, kind of later on. So we're just going to have this here. Then the center two here, we're just going to kind of fill up on the top. And then just add one right on the back part here. Grab your stone slabs and put them on the back here. And also put a ladder going up the back like that. Then grab your black wool. What we're going to do is going to take out this one, put in black wool. Take out this one, not that one. Take out the next middle one, put in black wool and add three. So you've got one, two, and three blocks just like that. And what you can do if you wanted to is you can put the stone slabs on the side. Uh, it's kind of up to you if you want to have them there. I'm really doing terrible for actually knocking out those. So you can either have it like looking like this. Or what I kind of prefer with my newer builds is like this. And it makes it look like the actual barrel part of it. It's kind of in a better kind of... I don't know, it just makes it look a little bit better. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can put, again, your weighted, uh, your weighted pressure plates on like that. But that gives us the kind of front gun uh, for the actual ship. We'll now do the missile system. Okay, and now for the next kind of guard after this, what we're going to do is we're going to leave three block gaps. So you got one, two, three. Then go across with five. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of these. And we're going to have one, one, one this time. So one, one, and one, just like that. Then again, have a three block gap. So you got one, one, two, three, like this. Then we're going to have three blocks going across. And we're just going to do the same as we did before. We're going to have three, three. Like this, build this kind of really small circular kind of uh, basin. Then build a cross like that. Put your stone slabs in each of the kind of gaps there. Add a block to this part. Then add a stone slab. Add a red piece of wall to the side. And towards the back of the ship where we've actually built this, we're just going to have one block. And then towards the front, add two blocks. And then you're going to have three blocks and three blocks like that. And I used a button on the back of mine, so I'm going to use the same on this. Just to go on the back kind of front part like that. Uh, but that gives us the missile system again. You can use your weighted pressure points to actually kind of uh, just 
add extra little bits of detail on it. Again, it's kind of up to you if you want to do this or not. Uh, I'm just going to do it as I did it on my other one, though. Generally, I don't do it anymore. I don't really use it that much anymore. And I can also, I can also put them on these parts as well. Just like that. Um, but that pretty much finishes off the front. We'll just put in the anchors here. And then we'll get on to the main kind of uh, command section. Okay, and the anchors are really, really simple. All we're going to do is we're just going to go to the front, find this section of free, and we're going to cut out just one down and then put in a iron bar. Come out and go one, two, and three, and then just add one to each side, just like this to build this really small anchor. Same on the other side, just cut out here. And if I can actually place them right, there we go. And you just get it like that, and that's it for the anchor system. So now we'll just set out uh, the actual main main section here. We will probably uh, split this up a bit. Um, I think actually we will definitely split this up. Um, and kind of finish off up to this lower deck that we've got here. We can get that all done um, and then we can build up this section. So we'll probably finish off the back bit. We can even finish off this antenna first. We'll just put in like the couple first couple of layers of, of the main bit as well. Uh, just to try and make it a little bit easier for you guys. We've got these sloped smokestacks as well so let's do that now okay so the first thing we can do we're uh, blah, 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 blah. okay so we're just going to lay out the basic kind of shape and then work out the back part here it's so first thing we're going to do find this kind of kind of uh, big missile system we got here leave a four black gap again i will actually be using slabs so you got one two three and four then go across here like this so we got one block gap on each side one two three four and then drag this all the way, well, pretty much all the way back. Drag it back, drag it back, drag it back all the way. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to have a six blocks between here and there. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So then bring that right up to this point here. So hopefully you guys can see exactly where I am. So there we are. So we've got six blocks here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to have a one. And then there should be blocks going straight across the back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks going across the back. Then a one. And then this will just join up across the kind of uh, back section here. And just bring it until we kind of get into the front part, just like that. So that's the kind of basic shape of it. All we need to do now is we need to go one, two and three so it's a total height of three so you've got three blocks one two and three here go around the entire build building up to that kind of height and what we'll do is we'll get onto the next layer okay so now we're going to just build this kind of uh, this kind of side railing type of thing here so come to this uh, back section that we've got here and what we're going to do is we're just going to go back from this long section we're going to have a one then we're going to go out right to this point here and we're going to go 8. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now we can also do as well, if I just grab a uh, never brick fence, put it on that part there, like that. Now we're going to have 7 of these, which are actually going to be touching in here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And they can build that up to a total height of 3 as well. So you've got this kind of bit here. Now what we're going to do is going to add six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then connect it into the side like that. Now what you can actually do is take out this part here, pull this all the way back like this. Uh, obviously, do it on the other side. Uh, but also, what you're going to do after that is actually grab your kind of grey wool again and fill in this deck. Uh, with this one, you have got a pretty small deck. You've only got two blocks here. Um, but with these sections to make it look like it's in, at the right scale, that's kind of have, what we have to have to kind of do. Uh, so then, yeah, do the same on the other side, fill it all in. Uh, there's also another never brick fence we need to put in, which is right there. So you've got one on each side like that. So same on the other side, fill it in your deck, and we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, so we're just going to build the basic part of the next kind of uh, level up and next kind of deck. So come to this front part here, we're just going to come in. Uh, just by one block on each side here. So we've got one, two, three, or not one each side, just from the front here. It's kind of here. We're just going to go one, two, three in total. This block actually goes back by 19. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Which is, if I grab uh, my stone slabs again, 
one, two, three, four, five, six of those there. So it's just before we get onto this solid part here. And then if we grab this across the back as well. Right, and up to there, there we go. So it's directly on top of this part. Like this. And then yet again, build that up to a total height of three. So we've got one, two, and three. Go around the entire build of that. And then we can actually start doing the back bit as uh, this is kind of uh, kind of created a boundary in somewhere where we can actually count from for this kind of back bit here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is build the actual uh, CIWS systems, which are the close-in weapon systems. So these are actually the same ones that I've done before um, on my kind of other Royal Navy ships, uh, like the Type 45 destroyer and also on the Invincible class aircraft carrier. So we've got this kind of solid seven that we've got here. We're just going to place a block here. We're going to build this three by three box like that. Then build across like this. And you can fill that in if you wanted to. Right on the top, put a white piece of wool. Then grab your black wool and just go out two times like that. So it's a really simple system uh, or gun. Uh, but then all you need to do is grab your iron bars and wrap it around this section here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next section here, this kind of back bit. And we're going to leave two blocks from this never brick fence here. So we'll leave these two. And we're going to have one, two, and three blocks here. Put a fence on the top. Then you're going to have a fence gate as a gun. And this is what I used to do for the guns. Uh, but I did see that somebody, and I can't remember where I first saw this, but it looks really cool. It looks more like a gun if you actually put a fence gate on. And then basically punch it out here. So you've actually got this kind of bit here like that which looks a lot cooler, uh, but I can't remember where I saw that first. Uh, next thing you're going to do is grab your iron bars, just connect this into here. And then what I did is I just basically put in these like squiggly bits here. Didn't put those down. Uh, got your iron bars, go around these sections like this until you connect into the back part here. And then you do the same, exactly the same for these two bits here um, on the other side. And then what we'll probably do is actually do these smokestack and the antenna. Uh, it's a bit, a little, little bit complex uh, when we start doing the kind of upper bit because we get this kind of walkway up, which looks really simple. But you've also got this kind of path going around the back to get down into this bit. So it's kind of a bit, um, bit strange. But we'll we'll kind of uh, deal with that bit after that. So yeah, smokestack, antenna, uh, the small boat, and then we can get onto this next kind of bit like that so let's do it okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the smokestack come to the back section here and where we've got this antenna we're just going to have five block gaps so you got one two three four five so if you have gone across with your uh your iron bars then of course you only have four but it is just on four of these here and what you're going to do is you have three blocks so you've got one two three and across here now going across this way we are going to have seven, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then a three here, so you've got this like that. Build all of this up to a total height of three, so you've got one, two, three, and we'll just go around here like this. So if you do that, and I will get back to you after you've done that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to have one, two, three of those, and then the next layer is going to go up here. So this is the front of the ship right here. So uh, we're going to have three of these layers when you're looking at it from the angles, uh, uh, kind of sideways angle. So you've got one, two, three, then build this one up like so, just like this, just like that. Then we're going to leave two of these and then build the rest up here like this. So this is just as just uh, kind of angling it a little bit. Then if you grab your grey wool and just shove this on like this, which will give us a kind of a uh, the kind of platform to put the actual sm stacks on. Okay, and now we're going to put on the smoke stacks. So the biggest one is at the bottom here. So we're just going to have going to basically uh, be laying on top. We can actually leave that there. These ones here, and then three going across this section at the back. But that doesn't look great because we're actually kind of following those. So we're going to add an extra block in here and here, which gives it a more of an angled, a proper angled kind of shape. Then what we can do is we can cut out this one and put in a black a piece of wall. And we can also cut out this. If you wanted to bring this all the way down through the ship, you could do. Actually have your smokestacks going all the way down right into the actual uh, kind of main belly of the ship. If you wanted to, I'm just going to leave it there like that. 
Uh, and now what I usually do is I usually put in a uh, never brick fence. And with this one, I actually recommend doing it down here. And then what you can do is you can grab your cobwebs and of course you can do something where you're actually moving it kind of backwards. That's a really bad example of it. But there you go. There's a kind of way of doing it. But that's how you can kind of make the smoke. And obviously you'll get into this thing. And you have to try and make it look like it's been scattered a little bit. But I'm sure you guys can do it. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to have two smaller ones on the top here. So just on this point here, we're going to go and make this kind of uh, pattern like this. And what we're going to do is all except for this last one here, we're going to build up just by one extra block. So it's these ones here that get built up. That one gets left uh, kind of on that lower level and again cut through. And of course if you wanted to you could also also uh, switch out the, these kind of not there, these pieces of black wool so that when you do look at it from an angle like this it doesn't look as bad as when you can see these grey pieces of wool. Same with the one down here uh, if you wanted to. And then put in your never brick fence again if you want to. And we could do some kind of thing like this. And make it a little bit different maybe. There we go. So you can do some sort of like smoky thing there with those ones. Uh, like that. I did on my one put down a ton of, well, without falling down onto the ground, uh, a ton of weighted pressure plates on these parts. Uh, but I'm, I'm not that keen on it. I think it's a bit too overkill if you have a look here. I don't think it looks quite right. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the small boats and then we can get onto this kind of main section. Okay, and now for the small boats here. Um, so I made mine out of yellow over there. I'm going to make one out of light grey. Uh, so what you're going to do is, where you've got this back section here, it's going to leave a block gap. Put down a cobblestone wall or never brick fence, whichever one you've got. Then put down a block of whatever colour wall you've got, and then you're going to have four. And then you're going to have another one. Just like this, and then just on the actual floor part. All I did is put down just a simple floor like that, just to build this really, really simple boat. And then on the front part, put down another wall. So supported down on the front part and also on the back. Um, if you've seen any of my other tutorials where I've kind of built those Zodiac type craft, you could always build one like this. Uh, we've got one here. If I just grab, actually I think I've got another brick fence down here. Build one going across like this. Build a small kind of Zodiac. It will be a little bit different than usual, but you can still do it as well so it's kind of up to you there's a couple of small boat designs you can do you can do something like this if you prefer that I do actually prefer that to the uh, the kind of basic one so I'm going to put another one of those on the other side as well but just copy it onto the other side and we do actually need to do this antenna before moving on to the next section so let's do that okay and now for the antenna so leave a one block gap between this kind of part here and just build a three by three box like that it should be one block between this main sec section as well. Go up to a total height of six. So you've already got your one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you're just going to basically add just five onto the top. Again, you can just make this center solid if you wanted to. That's what I'm going to be doing. So build this all the way up like this. Just like that. And yet again, I'm going to be using the quartz blocks to show you where you would be using uh, black walls. You can see on this part, I'm just going to go straight to the quartz blocks because it is actually easier. Uh, so you're just going to make a cross pattern of your black wall. And then this will be a total height of three. So you've got one, two, three. So you're just basically going to be adding an extra two blocks to each of them. Then in the middle, add two blocks here. Then with your cobblestone wall, what you're going to do is you're going to go up by five. If you haven't got this, just use never brick fence. But you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And then you have four never brick fence. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Come down one block, and you're just going to add one fence to each side just like that and then what you're going to do to finish off this is you're going to go to the top of this cobblestone wall add two more and then put a cob uh, never break fence on the top and also on the bottom so you got to go one two onto the top onto the bottom and then on this kind of bottom part of the cobblestone wall you're going to add four if you go up by one so you got one two three and four and just put two never break fence on the top here like that so you're just going up by one so you got one, two, three, and four, and then two. Never brick fence, just like that. Um, and that pretty much actually finishes off this back section here. Uh, so you can see it's starting to get a lot more detailed and everything like that. So we've just got this little kind of pretty small section, really. 
uh, with the bridge. Uh, there is a little bit kind of the only difficult bit is is pretty much those stairs and a couple of these bits that go around it. But apart from that, it's pretty standard as well as this top part here. And I'll probably have a have a relook at this as well, uh, possibly. Actually, I probably won't. But <laughs> but we'll just get onto this next section now. Okay, so first thing we need to do is fill this entire floor up with your grey wool. Again, it will create this kind of small room. So you've got a couple of small rooms uh, kind of in this. You could, I guess, cut through the floor on this one. Actually have a bigger room uh, kind of underneath this part here. Um, so yeah, just fill this up with your grey wool. And uh, then I'll get back to you guys for what we have to do after that. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to just basically build this little bridge section that we've got here. Uh, we'll just put in basically the kind of basic part of it and then there's quite a bit more complex kind of stuff like the walkways going around it. So first thing you need to do is go to the front where we've got like these missile stuff. Uh, go one block back and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Don't ask why I did that in a way, but a uh, weird way, but you've got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Just like that. Then you're going to have three. So you've got one, two, three just on each of these sides. It's just going to go out. It goes back in again, you've got 14, which should take you right to the back. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, which it did for me, which is quite lucky. So, so it's good when it work, kind of works out. So just join it up onto the other side and build it up to a total height of 3. So you've got 1, 2, and 3. So that's total height of 3 like that. Go all the way around that. We'll cut out the windows um, and also put in kind of like the doors and stuff like that. So build this up and we'll cut out the windows and doors. Okay, and then once you've kind of built out to a total height of three, what we're going to do is grab your glass, come to the front, just to completely take out this middle section and kind of place it with glass. You can put in stuff like glass panes as well, um, except for on these corner pieces because you've got this bit here. Uh, when you do get to this corner piece, you're just going to put one on each side, cut out this bottom bit, and this is where you're going to have a door in. You can put the door in there, or of course you can do it the other way to kind of create a bit more depth. Uh, with the actual ships, I actually think that uh, that kind of looks more like the realistic kind of thing because the hatch is kind of uh, close the kind of armor as well as radar reflecting if you've actually got this kind of gap in here. Wouldn't work as well. Though, of course, we are in Minecraft, so it doesn't really matter. It's kind of up to you uh, kind of completely. So put that in there without taking out too many blocks. Uh, next thing you're going to do is we might as well just fill this in as well so it's almost i think this is probably the last time i'm going to just tell you to fill in the floor with just this gray wall so fill this in and we'll get on to uh, building up the side parts okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to build the actual stairs to get up onto this kind of higher deck here so if we come to the back section i'll just make sure you know where you are where you got this kind of antenna part we have got this kind of fin strip here all we're going to do is going to add a stair onto this part and then we can basically put a couple of blocks down here just to kind of build a, a way up. Uh, but you do need these two here to walk through to get down onto this section here. So if we just put that in there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your blocks and just put them on the out kind of sides of this. There's already one there because of the gun, uh, but you can put it on the other sides as well. Then put your iron bars just on these parts. Not there, but uh, down. Ah, right, I've got the actual weighted pressure plate. So if you remember that. We've got the pl press plates that will push it up one, uh, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place a block directly on top of this one, right next to the kind of side part here. Add a block. I'm going to go out. We're going to have three. So you got one, two, three. And then we're going to have another two, which will connect back in here. Which is this kind of section here. What I did is I just made this part here solid like this. And put in a never brick fence here. And here is a kind of support. Uh, then you can come to the inside part. And basically just cut it out and put in a nice little floor here so you've kind of got this small balcony bit and you should be able to walk underneath this part here and get to kind of this area as well um, another thing you can do on this is actually put in another one of these guns if you want to so i'll just go through that again so you might as well put one in the middle and then you know put your fence gate on this part and build up have your fence gate and punch it through so you can have another machine gun in there so it's another nice kind of place to put one uh, if you wanted to and then if we come to the front obviously you guys will be just copying that straight onto the other side if we come to the front what we're going to do is we're going to have a nine so we're going to basically come out off this part one short here you're going to go one two three four five six seven eight and nine so you can basically one short on each side and it's come forwards by one then you're going to have a one and you're going to go out and you're going to have five. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. 
and a one like that. So it's basically just giving you this one block walk around uh, this part, then grab your iron bars and connect them across this part here. Now what we can do again is we can come down and actually cut through and replace these bits as well. And actually I think the front part, I'm just going to double check this front part quickly. Okay, so I just checked and yeah, we can take out these blocks as well and make them grey wool and we'll basically be covering them up in a second. So if you have it on the other side again, so you've got one, one, two, three, four, five, and then a one. And then we'll kind of, like you guys can figure out the other side, I'll do that in a bit as well. Uh, so we just take out these bits here, about taking out down there. So we've got these grey pieces of wool. So all of those, there we go. So then what you have is you have these ones showing. All we're going to do is place an extra block kind of underneath, double up this part here. Same with the side as well. And again, if you wanted to put in some guns, you could either have one right in the middle, or you could have one on each side like this. Uh, I'll just show you guys exactly what I mean. So we've got that, that. And there we go, there. So you could have two guns there. Actually, that's ridiculous ridiculously cramped but another idea I guess uh, if you actually take those off and you have the other gun way you have it like that I don't know why I've got two things there so it's you know it's kind of up to you I'm just going to leave them off actually because it is very very cramped uh, but that's another place where you can put the guns so you can just do that straight on the other side uh, which is what I'm going to do now and uh, we're pretty much just going to finish off this kind of roof part okay so we're just going to finish off the roof part and we're done with the build so if you come to the back of this part we're just going to go out and also up by one and just have three blocks here. It's basically going to give you this two by three box like that. Put your stone slabs on that part there and also on the bottom of it and it'll make it look like it's a bit more kind of stable because uh, it doesn't look that stable. But um, what we're going to do is going to have iron bars on the sides like this. Then we're going to have a cobblestone wall or your never brick fence. Uh, depending on, again, if you've got that or not. Uh, then a white piece of wall and you can put a quartz slab or something on the top of it. Or well, you can just leave it. I'm kind of more keen on leaving it. Another thing you can do is you can do something like this with your kind of slabs or something like that to make some sort of uh, antennary type thing, which actually I might go with. I might do something like this. Again, if you haven't got the quartz slabs yet, use stone slabs or something like that. That'll do fine. So then build it on the other side as well. Okay, next thing we're going to do is build this big white sensor. It's exactly the same as the one on the back. Uh, so I'll just show you guys where it is. So it's going to be three blocks back from the kind of front part. We're going to have a three again. And a three, and um, we're just going to basically build this diameter five circle. Again, you can fill it in if you want to. Um, you might actually just want to leave, or probably cut out this kind of roof uh, to give you some sort of lighting. Um, kind of later on, you can actually put you know glowstone in here instead. Up to you again. And we're going to build up to three. So you got one, two, and three. Just go around and build that up. I'm just going to leave mine hollow as I'm near the end of the tutorial, so the lag I'll get well be pretty much. Be unnoticeable uh, for you guys. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to do basically go in diagonals like this, just like that, and then just across to finish it off. And again, if you've kind of gone with a couple of the slab ideas that I gave you guys for the back one, you know, you can apply it straight onto this one here. And now, if you go to the front as well, place down a cobblestone wall or never brick fence, whichever one you got court slab and just go out a couple of times like this you could build a big one if you want to if you want to go out a couple of times I think I just made a tiny little one like that just on the front there so uh, now what we're going to do is build this radar dish on the back okay and now for the radar dish what we're going to do is if we just come to these two back bits here we're just going to go uh, basically across and build this five by three box here build it up to total height of three again like this and basically I'm just going to make mine solid because why the hell not. Uh, and then you can build a cross pattern right in the middle here. Grab your stone slabs and just put them out on each of the sides like this. Just like that. Then we're going to do is we're going to place a block directly in the middle. And then build a completely a kind of a stone block. Uh, now you guys on the console versions to get your hitbox. I don't know if I explained this earlier on. But you'll have to place down a block and then do it this way. To get it on the higher part, uh, but what you're going to do is you're just going to add one onto each side, like this, and then just have one coming forwards, 
like that. Then grab your iron bars. You're just going to put these on each of these. And also connect them together, but on the back part here. And then basically just double that up. And it can get tricky with the iron bars. I've been quite lucky this time. And then place a stone slab, basically in the same positions, uh, but on top this time, just to kind of finish off that kind of radar dish type thing like that. And now what I did is I had a never brick fence went up and also went out a couple of times like this. Uh, you could probably, if I just grab fence and fence gate, I'll try and have a look at possibly a nicer way of doing it. Uh, actually, we still need to get that part, so you could, I guess, do a fence instead and then use two fence gates coming out forwards like that possibly i don't know whichever one you guys think looks better so we just got this little kind of extra bit um, and a couple of ladders to put in so let's do that and we're done okay so for the finishing touches grab your ladder right on the side of this door piece it's got there this will enable us to actually go up and onto this kind of higher deck part here um, if you want to, it's so that it stops you guys from actually going up as you walk past, you can actually just take out that bottom layer, because then you can still jump and go up the ladder. Um, so you can always do that. I usually just leave it in because I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, so I'll just put those in there. Also on this back piece where we've got right next to these, put some ladder on again, and yeah, again, as you walk past it, you'll kind of get lifted up, or you should do. Uh, there you go. So you can always just take that out again. Uh, it's a really useful kind of trick to make it you know, still practical without getting annoyed by the ladders. If you grab your iron bars, what we're going to do is just going to wrap these around until you just hit into that side part there. Like that. Uh, so that you've got this one gap here. Then all I did is I put on some sensor junk, as I call it. Um, this is just what I use to actually fill up the kind of build. Do the same on the front. You could literally just put down, I don't know, never brick fence here that goes up by two and then have a cobblestone wall and never brick fence there. You know, you can literally just throw down some a couple of these kind of blocks that you can always use uh, as these kind of antennas and uh, this is what I usually do just to kind of fill out the actual build probably not there though um, and you literally do just there you go I'll just do something like that and that gives you a couple of like these little sensor antenna things that kind of just fill up the build um, but that's pretty much it I'm just gonna have a quick look over to make sure I haven't missed anything uh, but I'm pretty sure we're done with the build so well done on completing the Type 42 Destroyer or Sheffield class Destroyer. Um, it is again one of my older builds so it isn't as nice as the, the kind of newer ones but it's still got a pretty cool shape um, and it's still kind of pretty cool. So quickly what I'll do is I'll just go through how if you wanted to kind of improve the shape. All you'd really need to do is where you've got these straight lines is just basically take them out and start to kind of do things like this and you'd basically go across the build so you can see already see that that's then following the shape of that. You can go all the way down with the actual hole there instead of having, I think it was that before, which is very, very straight. So you can actually quickly change this kind of even older style uh, of my ships to actually get the newer, uh, sleeker kind of shape. It won't be, you know, perfect from from uh, the actual shape and things like that, but it's still pretty close. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.